Hi guys, I'm Kemma Kane. I'm here to give you a workshop today on how to create a song. So yeah, first we're going to start on ideas and where we can get them from. So the best place to get song ideas, I think, is, um, you know, usually life experience. That usually inspires me. So I'll think about, is there any topics you kind of want to explore, where you want to take it? I usually start by something I've been through in the past, something I want to see in the future or what's going on now. So for example, my life experience, I usually talk about where I came from and kind of the things I went through from how I grew up to where I am now. And my, I'm really big on inspiring people to get to one place to another. So that's where I get my uh, inspiration from, everyday life experience. So let's start by thinking where you wanna go. You know, Do you wanna talk about what you've been through? Or maybe it's a love song, you wanna talk about someone you might have fell in love with. Or maybe it's an important issue you wanna talk on. You know what's going on in today in our world, something you're passionate about. So think about the topic you want to speak about first. So the best way I start is by jotting down a load of ideas about this topic. So say, for example, I'm talking about life experience. What do I want to speak about? I could talk about what I've been through, who I've been through with and how that made me feel. So just write down a full list, as many things as you can, based on this topic. So for me, a structure what will make a good song is if you have a story. So the way I treat a song is having a beginning, middle and an end. So you need to think where you want to go. The best way I would say is start at the end and how do you get there? So where did you start? Where's the middle? And where's the end? So a song usually includes a verse, a chorus, usually a second verse, and something you'd call the bridge, which is usually coming to the end of the song. So a chorus you'd have is the main part of the song. This is the thing people really want to remember. So when you're writing this chorus, you either want it to be catchy, and it's going to be something what tells you everything about the song. So the chorus is usually the main thing. A bridge is something what lets the listener know it's coming to the end of the song. And it's a really good, I would say, basically a roundup. So after you've had your idea, so you've picked your idea now, and you kind of know where it's going to go, you have your story, you have your beginning, you have your middle, your end, you have an idea, maybe you want what you want for the chorus. Now we need to think of what we're going to put behind these lyrics. The best way I do it is by going on YouTube and there's so many producers now who give away free beats. So I would start by typing in what type of song. So say, for example, it was a love song. You could type it on YouTube, love song, free, instrumental. So that means it would be free of charge and you can write your song towards that. A lot of people ask me if you're writing a rap, does it need to rhyme? It does not need to rhyme. What I would say is put down what feels right. Personally, I do like to make it rhyme, but it doesn't have to be. Some people write two, maybe two, three bars before they even hear a rhyme. As long as the song makes sense to you, that's all that matters. Because at the end of the day, you're the artist. If you get stuck, what I usually like to do is go back to your piece of paper where you've written down all the ideas. So say, for example, I'm talking about my life experience and I will tell you what I've been through in my teens, what I go through now, and then I'll pick a topic. What, what do I want to explore? Maybe I want to explore what I went through when I was younger. OK, what did I go through? You know, where I grew up, the type of friends I had, the experiences I had. And you, you're never running out of ideas. So always go back to that piece of paper where you wrote down the list. So usually a song would be finished if you check, does it have a verse? Yep, yeah, take that off. Does it have a chorus? Take that off. Does it have maybe a second verse? Great. And does it end with a bridge? It doesn't have to have a bridge, but okay, it's an option. So I'll tick off all these things. If it does, then there's your finished song and you're good to go. I would say once you've finished your song, practice it as much as you can. You know, you could perform it in front of your friends, people you trust who are going to give you, you know, great feedback and encourage you to keep going. And the main thing with creating a song is practice. Sometimes when I write songs, the first song I write might not be great. Second one might be amazing. It's just about constant progression, practicing and finding your sound and where you want to be.
I'm just going to show you a quick example of a song I created. So I'm going to walk you through where I started and how it became to a full song. So this song was something very personal to me. It's about a personal experience I went through. So I went online and then I just typed in slow, upbeat, sad, instrumental. And then I came to this beat. So when I found that beat, I thought, okay, that's great for me. Now I need to put some lyrics behind it. But before I put the lyrics down, I thought, let me write down where is it going to go? So I thought about where I grew up, what I went through and how that made me feel. So that was easier for me because I think when you're writing about personal stuff, it's easy to put ideas down. And you'll be able to hear that this song goes with what I'm writing about. basically what I'm talking about you find a beat you find something what your lyrics go to have your idea know where you want to go have your beginning middle and end create a song and the most important thing you need to do is have fun because if it's not fun what's the point in doing it thank you very much